Guys, I remember what I promised all of you. The Sonic EXE video is already filmed. And as soon as I get a hundred thousand likes for this video, I promise that I will release the Sonic's EXE video immediately. Me and the guys have already filmed it and edited all of it. So it all depends on your likes and your activity for this video. I'm telling you guys now. This cat is now abandoned, but I was once a pioneer. I used to spend more time here. Sometimes after lights out, the boys and I would hear scary noises. And when I looked out the window, I noticed a creature that looked like a cat, a huge black cat. Hello, dear friends. It's Arishniff with you here. And with me today, William Bruno. Hi, everyone. Guys, we're back on the lookout for Cartoon Cat along with... Yeah, big one, two, three, four. We're right in the middle of some, well, I don't know what this is, guys. It's a forest. And here's a children's camp. I didn't feel like going back to searching it because, well, we still remember what happened last time. We literally had to run away from that military base without looking back because Cartoon Cat is no joke. But today we came back to catch him after all. Now I'm gonna show you guys where our camp is. Look, there's a huge picture of Lennon right here. And guys, there's a reason we camped here. You can observe everything around the perimeter here, guys. And you can see it very, very well. So guys, if anything happens, I can always call in the military guys via this radio because they're right next to us. That's our military support. They've got guns with them. They also have swords and all that cool camouflage. So if anything, they can call in a helicopter or maybe a tank. So we're ready to go. You guys, it's just that in the first part, we were already attacked by Cartoon Cat and we couldn't deal with him at all. So now he immigrated to this abandoned children's camp where he'd been seen one time a long, long time ago. So we took the support with us to be perfectly safe today. One night, we heard this noises, supposedly from this cartoon cat, but I was too afraid to go and check. Well, two of our boys decided to go there after all. So after they left, I heard some scary noises and screaming. And in the morning, we found out that the boys had vanished. After all, we were told that the meeting at the camp would probably be closed. We know you didn't really want to go with us, but since we had the military support, Peter Andreevich agreed to go. He'll show you all these places because Peter Andreevich was in the camp as a child and knows everything around here. He even saw Cartoon Cat. But before we catch Cartoon Cat, we need to survey this whole area, set some traps, and then see where this guy might be hiding. This is where he was last seen, right here, right on the water tower. You guys, me and the guys decided to split up, like in cartoons, and Sophic went the other way with the scientist's friend who used to live in this camp. The other direction. I don't know exactly what's in there, guys, but Peter Andreevich says that there's a canteen there. Thank God it's so daylight hours, but it's dripping rain and snowing. You can imagine what kind of weather this is. Hey, over there, just look. This is the exact tower where Cartoon Cat was last seen. Come on. They even wrote about it in the news. Hey, let's just come back here later. Here, we have other buildings to check. Guys, there's a huge pole up here, and there's no electricity wire to it at all. Apparently, Cartoon Cat really cut the wires here, just like he did at the first military base. Okay, guys, let's move on. By the way, Bruno, I have something to tell you now. Even though you may not believe this, but anyway, you guys, I just recently met a real witcher who can summon spirits anytime at all. Track. Cartoon Cats, Sonic's EXE, and many others of that kind. So why didn't you take the Witcher with you? He refuses to go out anywhere for recordings. You guys, I'm in the lair of a real shaman right now, you guys. And he has something to tell all of you. Your hunger. <laughs> to all those who are watching this video on Erzness channel, I can clearly see those who have already clicked on the red button and made it gray. This young man reached out to me and asked to create a good luck charm for all people subscribed to this channel. Conservrod esir mo faber et emana supron galene sultano randveva seta o mastero. 
I'm done. Now for anyone who made the red button into a gray button, there will be above plus 30% in good luck. Just tell me, please, I mean, is this for real or not? So everyone who subscribes to the channel will now be 30% more successful, do you think? It's absolutely true. I've been meditating on the summit of Everest for 40 years. I've communicated with the spirits there. If you don't believe me, you can check it out for a second. And what will happen to those who have clicked? on the red button long ago, already being subscribers to my channel. Well, you already came here a long time ago and asked for a good luck radio for all subscribers. Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me. I completely forgot about that. Oh, you guys, okay, we should get back to the video already, you guys. But if you want to see a witcher in my videos again and have him do all of the rituals for you for good luck on the road, or you know, or just for success in general, then be sure to write about it in the comments. Palermo, Contala. We were already out on the road, this concrete road, and... Oh, I don't know, did you hear something? It sounded like yelling. Okay guys, let's check at least. There's something, uh, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, but so scary, man. Holy crap, you guys, just look at this. The only warming thing here is this wonderful mosaic. Well, it's really cool and really beautiful, but I have no idea how it got here, right in the middle of the woods. Apparently, not too long ago, there was a real buzz of life going on here, but apparently, after Cartoon Cat's emergence, it all stopped. All right, let's go find Sergey, our military contact, and then we'll go to the tower with him. Oh, Sergey, let's go check the tower. Let's go. Just so that you know, it's where Cartoon Cat was last seen. It's unlikely he is right there at this moment, but there may be some traces of him left. Wow, it's so huge. Here, guys, look. In fact, it's even a little scary. It's snowing, and it's just like, you know, hey, what are you treating me so hard for? Watch this, Artyom. Did you guys see that thing? That's Cartoon Cat we've been looking for! This is a cave painting of the Cartoon Cat. Maybe we'll be able to catch him today. What a huge and tall tower there is. If there is a cave painting of Cartoon Cat, there must be a reason for it, you know? Perhaps there is something on top of this tower. I want to go check upstairs. Maybe that's where Cartoon Cat sleeps. <gasps> whoa, 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 Arto. Oh, no, I was really scared. It was scary, all right. But uh, the tower is ancient. But we came here for Cartoon Cat. And we'll find him today and catch him. Okay, well. Look, there's pipes and there's a ladder going up right to that big barrel right there But as you can see the floor here is completely rotten So it's even more dangerous to walk here than it is to meet cartoon cat. Have a look. This is the canteen Let's go check it. Come on guys. I can see the main entrance. Gotta check that. Well, yeah Let's go then check it out so far Everything seems to be clear the main thing guys is that our tomb and William Bruno really feel comfortable in there It's okay clear. That's it. Well, come on. I'll show you guys what the canteen looked like back then. You guys, this is very dangerous here. Come on. I get that, yeah. Guys, see there's a ladder ending right on the ledge. Come on, come on, come on, climb. That's it, Bruno, I'm here. Come down, come on. Oh man, it's scary to think that I was over there before. I mean, the drawing is creepy. Okay, just a little bit more and I'll be on the ground. <laughs> There's Cartoon Cat! Artom! There's Cartoon Cat! Just flashed by! Hey, Bruno, calm down. I didn't see anything. You're imagining things. Wait, there's just a black window. Come on, you guys, come and see. Confirm in the comments that there was nobody there at all. Do you think I'm crazy? Subscribers, have you seen this? There's something there. <laughs> Hey guys, this is the canteen. This is crazy. The roof collapsed in here. Cartoon Cat must have jumped on it. I'm getting really scared. Well guys, I've got the military backup, so that makes me feel safe. Check the hall over there. And we'll go there now. Come on, let's go. It's clear. Good to go. Good to go yeah. Let's go look at it. Oh man, you guys. Wow, just look at that. Just 
an enormous hall here. Guys, I have no idea what happened here. There was a canteen here. There was big tables where we ate. There was a kitchen over there. And they cooked food for us. Ooh. Well, this hall here, guys, is just awesomely cool. It is just so beautiful in here. What a shame Cartoon can't ruin this camp. Come on, guys. I'm going to show you guys where the dumplings and the soups used to be cooked. This is the distribution window. They were handing out food out here. We have to remember that we're next to Cartoon Cat. It's really important, guys. There, let's go. Oh, that's it. The main thing for us, guys, is that we show him to you. Oh, holy crap. What the heck is this? I think this is where Cartoon Cat used to live. Ooh, guys, we better not go in there. Guys, I don't think you should even look in here. It's a heck of a hole. There's so much space in there. trying to believe you, but I just don't want to believe every word that you say. I mean, seriously, you're just so damn scared all the time. Stop being so afraid of everything around. Because it's not just fairy tales, it's Cartoon Cat. You know what, Bruno? You're just a coward. I'm not a coward. <laughs> Bruno, come on, run! That's Cartoon run! Cat! I saw him! I saw him! Marjo, come on, run! Run! Sergey! Damn, we're we'll like Sergey over there! Come on, over here, Arjo! Did you guys see that? Something fell on us right there inside the building. It's just why did we go in there, you guys? There's no any windows there. I think there's a reason Cartoon Cat is following us. I mean, if you go to my channel and you know, take a look at the link, you'll see how it uh, says that YouTube slash the cartoon story. That's why Cartoon Cat paid attention to us. And now there's no way he's gonna let us go. Guys, look at this. This was a huge camp refrigerator. There's still even snow inside of there. Guys, we gotta go down in there. Actually, that's not recommended. Well, I don't want to either. Soldier, come on again. Okay, guys, well, we're waiting and we're watching for now. Because it's just that, I mean, in any hole, any bunker, you know, Cartoon Cat could be sitting there. And we really need to be safe about this whole thing. But next time, guys, I think we should take an entire company of soldiers with us. Ready, you all right, clear. Hey, let's not do that better. We really shouldn't. The soldier will go back. What's that? A drawing album. Well, actually, just look how beautiful these drawings look on these landscapes, you know? It's like we're in some kind of computer game right now. I mean, it's almost like The Last of Us. Okay, that's probably somebody's dad and that's somebody's mom. This drawing is very similar to what we see in front of us right now. Hey, look, it's actually just the same. See, the girl right there on the bank, there behind the river, you know? And there are some strange oh, fish. Oh, it's this river in winter. Yeah. And that's Cartoon Cat looking out! Oh, no, it's just a cactus. Look at the drawings. All kinds of monsters are here. Oh, uh, look, to be honest, I don't really like this at all. The style of drawings. Just look, there's some kind of sun, and it's all black. And who's that? I don't know. Look. That doesn't look nice at all. You know what it actually looks like? What's that? What, huh? It's like Cartoon Cat is fighting another Cartoon Cat. Why does everyone think there's only one Cartoon Cat? Maybe it's a whole species, you know? Which is why everybody sees them in different places. I mean, Cartoon Cat may not be alone at all. There's not one Cartoon Cat on the military base. There might be another one. Guys, we were just told by a military men there's actual evidence of Cartoon Cat being here. There were refrigerators here, guys, right inside of this room. Huge sheets of metal, and Cartoon Cat broke them down just like this. You guys, look at this. It's a total wreck. The refrigerator side, it's all upside down. This is a complete mess inside of here. Whoa, who's there? Everybody stay where you are. What do we do now? Don't make it fast. No need to panic. Guys, yeah, let's somehow get out and reach the camp quickly. It's safer there. I don't want to stay inside of here anymore. Moving out. Get us out of here, quick! It's definitely Cartoon Cat. It's a children's camp, and the kids painted what they saw in front of them. Like with the river, like the sun, the rainbow, so they did with Cartoon Cat. Artem, you do realize that kids actually draw what they see in front of them. <laughs> Sergey, is that you? I thought it was Cartoon Cat! I was so numb, I didn't know what to do. Sergey, are you okay? Alright. 
Have you seen Cartoon Cat? I heard him. Let's go find the others before Cartoon Cat finds them first. That cookery knife looks decent, but that's not enough. Uh, I actually agree with Sergey because, well, you've seen this Cartoon Cat yourself, right? There's the camp. Ooh, thank God we made it. Guys, we're making our way to the camp right now. We only have a machete, the one that Sergey has. He can't cope all the serious weapons here. Sergey, protect us over here. Come on, Bruno. Uh, uh, Stop, you will not believe this. We've seen some cave pantings over there. There's also a scrapbook you found with uh, with children's Bro, drawings. Sophie, thank goodness you're alive. We're here just waiting for you. I've seen so much. You'll be shocked. Just look at these drawings that we found. Just just look at them. Look at them. Come on. I'm scared too to even hold this in my hands. What the? Who drew this? Did you guys draw this? Sarvik, I swear that it wasn't us at all. We found this notebook right over there near the shore. Sarvik, there might even be a few cartoon cats living here. I'm sure of it. This is some kind of horror. Oh, goodness. It's right from back in the day. Well, it's just a nightmare. I don't even know what it is. Come on. Peter. There, there, that's him. I remember him clearly now. Oh, well, guys, I just don't, I, I don't know why you took this album with you. And this album must have been drawn by our guys. It was Peter or Sarioga, I don't remember. The ones who saw it the same way I did. Well, why don't we just throw this album away somewhere? It's like we never even seen it. So I think we also saw a cave painting in that high tower because Cartoon Cat is two meters tall over there. It was either painted by some witnesses or he painted it himself. And the interesting thing is that Bruno and the military even saw Cartoon Cat in the window somehow. I didn't believe them at first, and then a chair fell on Bruno. At first, Artem didn't believe me, but I mean, subscribers, you saw this recording. You saw how Cartoon Cat flashed through the window. It seems to me that we need to launch a drone and then, looking from above, obtaining a bird's eye view on the area will understand where this Cartoon Cat is hiding. Look, we also have these traps. Oh. oh, check it out, guys. I've got an even more powerful one this time, so we'll definitely get him this time. Because, as you may remember, that last time Sophic even managed to trap Cartoon Cat, but he escaped. He ran away. Get the big ones right here. Get the big ones. There. And right here, too. You guys, Cartoon Cat got in this trap for real. For real. Right now, he's just wandering. I think we're going to have to put traps somewhere in this half of the camp, you know? Hey, look. Oh, hold on. Guys, be careful. There's his footprints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like the ones I saw. I think he's been here recently. You guys, even though the snow has covered these tracks a little bit, we know the Cartoon Cat must be around here somewhere. Somewhere. Just look at that, at the wall. Hey, record that. Look there, these are the footprints of our cartoon cat. There were the same footprints here last time. And after that, he immediately caught our eye. I suggest we go into that building and set traps inside of there. Hey, just let the military go in first and check the first floor and the second floor. And then we'll go and set up the traps. Military guys, just be careful, please. Just so you guys know that we're serious, we've already set one trap for you right here. You guys, look! I'm gonna set mine right here, right here. You and Bruno take the first floor, and you, Safik, go to the second floor. All right, let's go. So the main thing is to keep the military guys not far from us. We're checked it. There's no one here. Okay, guys, I'm taking the second floor. Come on, let's set a trap somewhere in the right place. I don't know what this is, but it looks really scary. It's like someone was looking for old records in here. Look, I've put a second trap on the first floor in case Cartoon Cat runs through here. He usually jumps through a window, so if he jumps in here, he'll get caught him in this trap. And if that happens, I want to get it on camera. So, I'll put a hidden action camera here, and when Cartoon Cat falls for my trap right here, you can see all this footage. Guys, the second trap is set. First floor is secured. How is it going in there? Everything's almost ready. Is the military with you? I think so. Well, I'm around if you need me. Roger that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna set this trap right here, okay? And I'm gonna put the camera right over here, too. Alright, guys, the trap is set. 
guys, we got the trap set. So if Cartoon Cat jumps in that house, he'll get caught for sure. You guys, that is why we are going to launch the drone from this tent right now. That's it. Let's launch it now. Come on. Do you see anything specific? Man, you guys, this area is so vast, really. Just go. Oh. You guys remember, Cartoon Cat could be hiding anywhere at all right now, you know? You have to be as careful as possible, even while watching this video. Oh, by the way, where's our military? Oh, look, I don't really know. Just look at this building. Damn, it's really creepy. Well, let's try to fly up closer, see if we can spot anything. Well, I'm sticking as close as I can, but here it is too. Don't hit the trees! Don't don't hit the trees! Uh-huh. Yeah, this house looks okay, doesn't it? But we'll try to fly up to it anyway. Hey, you guys, just think about it, because, well, you, there were people living there. Careful, careful. Oh, whoa! Oh, okay, okay, easy. We're good, we're good. I hope the drone won't break, guys. Wait a minute, what's that? Whoa, 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 oh my god, what is it? We're losing the signal. When we launched the drone, we thought that we would be able to watch the cartoon cat from a safe distance, but what we actually saw when we launched it, man, we were just shocked, you guys. We barely managed to get a picture from that drone that we used, but unfortunately, the camera couldn't record all of it, and there were only our comments caught on the recording. You guys, the drone went somewhere else in this building. Take your time, it might not be that easy. William Bruno will now go to the third floor with the military. Hey, Sophic, you check the other wing, okay? And get some military backup too, right? And I am gonna go check those rooms over there, all right? Guys, come on, just remember, the most important thing now is to find the drone because it contains very valuable footage that provides the existence of Cartoon Cat. Sergey, this drone that Cartoon Cat stole is probably around here somewhere. Let's take a better look. Here, look. Okay, well, this must have been some kind of toilet. Okay, there's nothing here. Just a little room or something. Guys, now we're going right that way. Right down that far and long corridor. Because that's where our drone could be. Anyone there? All that's left are the shoes from some man. Well, maybe we should close it then. Let the boots stay there. You guys, even though it's getting water, the weather is really weird. First it's snowing, then it's not, then it's sunny, and then it's snowing. And oh, I found something in this room. You guys, look, this is a real bird's nest. We will not touch this nest with our hands, of course, because, you know, if there are chicks inside of it, like little babies, their mother may not recognize them because of their sex. <laughs> Thank God we're here today with the military support because I don't feel safe here. So okay, let's go check it out. Find that drone anyway. There's valuable footage on it. Peter Andreevich, what used to be in here? This was the administration building. All the bosses sat here. Well, we can't see the copter yet, and we don't think we have very many rooms left. It's super scary and super dark in here. I think we've already moved through the whole building, and we should go back to the guys. I mean, so far we haven't found anything good. What's so? You guys, I heard some sort of noise. Well, I heard a noise too. Where is Bruno? I've been trying to get a hold of him on the radio, but he hasn't answered for about five minutes. Hey, where's your radio, huh? Where is it? Uh, Bruno, Bruno, come on! At any rate, then Huggy can just... Okay, just look, the box is shaking. He's taking flying fours! He's putting them in his coffin! No, no. not the generator, no, please! No, 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 oh, no, 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 probably down the hall down there. And from behind... Hello, everyone, dear friends! It's Oddish Sniff with you here. Hey, you guys! You guys, we were just about to start a new video here. Wait, well, did you order that big black package here? I didn't order anything. Dude, I have no idea what that Maybe is. Maybe we received some kind of this like YouTube reward for good content. Okay, this is Sophic1234 and this is Pasha Shade IF. Let's go and check it out right now. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, you guys, just look at this right here. It is such a big package that they even used a cart and it's apparently ours here. By the way, they also gave us a pair of scissors to open it. Come on, Sopic, you open it. Okay, you guys, I can't even guess what is inside of it right here. Right here. We're about to unpack it and then we're probably gonna freak out, I think. Be careful, guys. We really don't know what's in there. You guys, just look. I can already see the corner of this package. Awesome. Holy moly, that's a cool box. It must be some kind of a huge toy for us. Easy. Right. Ah! Ah! Out. Why did they send it to me if I didn't even pre-order it at all? But really, here, just take a closer look. From Playtime Corporation for Arishniv. That's a real huggy wuggy. Look, I heard they're giving it away for free to anyone who wants it since they're closing the factory. And his teeth are so perfectly sharp. Man, he's just like a real one. To be honest, I'm not scared even to be around here. But what if it turns out to be alive and he tries to go out and eat us, you guys? How's he gonna eat us? He's still locked in the package. The only chance of him biting our heads off is if we open it up and put our heads in it. All right, just all right. Let's do it this way. We've got cameras all over the studio. So let's just watch how he behaves himself, you know? Just look here. We put some cameras over there, right? And then there's the camera. Ooh, and we're gonna use the hidden cameras as well because I am telling you that if he comes back to life then we're gonna be in real trouble Okay, you guys we realized that you guys really like the huggy wuggy videos a lot And so as long as there are a hundred thousand likes at this video Then we will shoot some more cool huggy wuggy videos just for you So right now be sure to scroll down and give us a like and I suggest that we guys head to the computer Where we will have access to our hidden and cameras because I'm really scared to be around this thing. Let's go. Hmm. I'm too much scared to wait up. Pasha? Well, all right. Okay, I'm out of here. Come on, guys, wait for me. Okay, Pasha, let's do it in here. Okay, Sorry, hurry up and go. What? Guys. I've been waiting forever over here. Okay, let us show you now that we have all of the cameras working. Right here it is. This look, you guys, we can watch everything from here, including the Huggy Wuggy on these cameras right here, monitoring everything that happens inside of our building. We've got it all right here. Come on, just show it, I'll show it all. See, there's this box, and if there's even the slightest movement, then we're gonna notice that immediately, you guys, just immediately. And I'm sh just sure that this toy will definitely come to life at some point. If anything, we have plenty of supplies here so we can defend against him for a long time. Look at this, guys. Here it is. Look, look, look. Really closely. So, hold on. There doesn't seem to be any movement just yet. Oh, are we going to spend hours looking at some toy waiting for it to walk around? Why don't we open it? Zavik, this factory closed for a reason that we don't know. I assure you that these toys are alive. Especially Huggy Wuggy. He is able to kill people. Well, he's got to come alive by now. I'm sure of it man. Come on. Are you out of your mind? Sophic, it's only been five minutes. It must be Huggy in there right now. Okay, dude, look at the boxes shaking. Let's just take the toy or something. You guys! Pasha, can you see this? It's really coming out of the box. You can see it with your own what? eyes now. <sighs> Maybe it's battery power. That's just crazy, you guys. Sophic wants batteries. You guys, I'm recording this with my phone right now because we also have cameras shooting from different angles. Huggy Wuggy is walking. Holy crap. He's rigging the studio. No, he dropped the chair. Is our door locked tight? Oh my god. He seems to be exploring the studio. Man, he's gonna bring something valuable in there. Well, Sophic, I told you that he's alive. We should have done oh, something. Dude, if you knew this all along, then why did we just throw him we in the trash? We should have gotten rid of that Huggy Wuggy right away. What did he grab? He's showing us the red button right now, right on the camera. Oh. You guys, I think that this is a direct threat, you guys. I mean, if this Huggy Wuggy is really alive and he's some kind of a magical creature, then he could be able to affect our channel, you know? Like, unsubscribe someone from the channel. So just come on, just scroll down below this video right now and check whether your button is red or if it's great. And if it is red, then this is a very bad color. So if you don't want Huggy Wuggy to come get you, then make sure that you go down right now 
now under the video and turn it gray. He's walking around the studio. He's showing us the button again. I can't believe this, Safik. What do you mean, dude? Maybe we should just call the police or the military. Pasha, what are you thinking? I don't know, but I got scared of the man. It's just he's like a three meters tall and all the sword is like a toothpick, I guess. Well, yeah. Well, at least we have... Yeah, I mean, I think the door's closed. We should be safe in here. He's just looking straight into the camera, and still he's holding that red button. You guys, let's change the color of Huggy Wuggy's button right now. Come on, on the count of one, two, three. Whoa! Great, Whoa. guys, it worked for us. Just look, Huggy Wuggy's now holding a great button. Yeah! We just punished him by showing him that we are a friendly family that sticks together. Okay, where did he go right now? You guys, just look at how fast he is, man! Dude, he's really huge, I can't believe it! You guys, he's probably two, or maybe even three meters tall! He's in the warehouse now, just Huggy Wuggy has entered our warehouse! Okay, Suffolk, how do we switch the camera over there? Stop pushing all the buttons randomly! It looks like you don't know how to use a computer properly! Wait, 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 wait. where's he going now? He's heading into the warehouse! There, there, there! Come on, film him! Be sure to record, that's a real Huggy Wuggy! Oh my god, you guys, I cannot believe it at all! Why? Would he even come into our warehouse? This is just absurd! He's looking straight at Plan A4. What does he want to do with it? There he is. Oh, that is the drawer. You guys, you guys, Huggy Wuggy is moving the coffin over, but he's starting to grab all of the vlogs there. And now he's putting them inside of the coffin. What, dude? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Our hidden cameras in the studio caught the Huggy Wuggy. Take a closer shot. There he is. He's carrying it right there. He's folding them up and he's putting them inside of the coffin on one or the other. Is he planning to bury them or what? We're going to get buried too, you guys. Like, we got to come up with something. I wonder if he knows that we are watching him and seeing everything that he does and how he puts them on in the coffin. Huggy Wuggy videos are extremely dangerous to make you guys so just please scroll below the video right now and give us your likes so we get 100,000 likes and if you would like us to film some more videos just for you about Huggy Wuggy or perhaps some other sort of monster to be filmed by our hidden cameras inside of the studio. Okay. You guys, he looked at our camera and, uh... Is he taking the bear? Film it, film it, film it, film it, film it, take a shot from this angle right there, okay? You guys, just so you realize, we are watching everything right now. We have cameras shooting from this angle and from that angle, too. He's taking the bear? My favorite daddy bear! Oh, well, Pasha, just look, he seems to be treating it well. Look, he's, like, petting it right now. Just see how he's, yeah. like, petting the bear. Is he fond of bears? Perhaps he, being a toy himself, relates well to other toys, you know? Look. Ah! Quieter to him, it wasn't your head. Oh. Does he want to tear something off of it? Look, he's just tearing it apart. Oh, you guys, he's ripping it off. Huggy Wuggy's ripping it all off. Huggy Wuggy just ripped the teddy bear's head right off, you guys. It's crazy. Pasha, why didn't you say anything? Uh, I just didn't know what to say. It's my favorite teddy bear. He just ripped it off, and now he's going away from there. Guys, it's just awful. He doesn't even like toys. What's he going to do to us? Okay, he's out of here now. Okay, you guys, let's go find him right now. Come on, come on, come on with Where me. Where are you going? All right, check all of the doors here. Who left this door open here, huh? You're going to be kidding me. <sighs> Okay, just uh, let's lock it. I love you guys. Just lock it. Okay, we can't let. We cannot just look here. Do we gotta let Huggy Wuggy in there yet? So just look. There's a little corridor going, and I hope that Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> There's a crazy corridor and all of that, so let's close all the doors. I told Sophie that it is better not to mess with Huggy Wuggy because this toy is crazy and alive. Let's go see what else he is up to right now. Just look, look, look here. Are you filming it? Oh, just look. He's outside of the warehouse now. He's looking straight at the camera. You guys, Sophie, I'm telling you that he knows that we are watching him. Just look. He's looking right into the camera. Just look at him, you guys. He's right at us looking. Well, look. Maybe he just wanted to have a look around or something. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Look at his teeth. Pasha, where is he going? Now, huh? I don't know, he's getting somewhere to the boxes there to try bones. I don't know what else might be stored there. You guys, he's staring straight into the cameras and they were watching him on, you guys, and the sure of it. Just take a closer shot. Now he's taking something Does from he there. have any supplies in there? I mean, come to think of it, how can he? Just look so it's in his hands. It's in his hands. Maybe he wants to get back inside of this box there. He's going into the boiler room. All right, where are the cameras there? All right, I'm switching over now. Just look, he's going now into another room. Now he's looking at the camera again. Hold on, he's hold on. He's looking straight into it. There's our boilers in there and he can just blow them up, dude. He's raising up his hand. Wait, hold on, come on. Oh, 
Sanders, what is he doing with all the interference? Stop doing you guys. anything. Wait, wait. I, oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That's just... All the cameras are down. There's an error code. It's 265 plus 625. I'll check it now. I'll go to the panel. All right, Safi, good luck. Buster, come on. We'll try to figure something out at the computer right here. Try installing this one here. Maybe it'll help reporting this whole Ooh, system. You guys, actually, there must be a reason to why the cameras are turned off. Well, because here's the thing. There's a rumor that the security guard that has been working at this place where the poppy playtime plant was has gone missing. Pasha, see, there's a suspicion that he was possessed by the Huggy Wuggy. So maybe our Huggy Wuggy is actually this guard, the one who was now possessed by Huggy Wuggy. Then I can see why he's good with electricity and cut off our lights and the video feed so easily. Yeah, it's most importantly, he already knows where the cameras are and is probably just exploring the area now as a security guard following his own rules and orders. Well, after all of this, it's gonna be fixed somehow, right? All right, guys, I replaced the plugs. They were blown up. Oh, there. There, I see him. I see him. Just look. There's Huggy Wuggy. Look, now he's in the middle of a, you know, the room where the boxes are. Okay, just look. He's a, just, now he's just, oh, just, he, he's working. Wait, he's, now he's, he's taking that red rat for some reason. I think he reacts aggressively to red colors like a bull. And now he's taking the green bucket. We we'll use that bucket to wash the floor. Take a better shot from this angle so that the audience knows that it's all happening in real time. What's he going to do now? I don't know what he's going to be doing. Is he crazy or something? That's the dirty water from when we mopped the floors. And he's putting tea in it. Is that tea? I think so. It's gotta be tea. Those are the ones that I left on the tea. Whoa, he's really going for some big breathing all the time. He threw absolutely all of the tea that we had in there. Just look how he's throwing the box away now. Do you guys realize that he just took this dirty bucket and he put the tea bags in there for some reason and then he just like started drinking it all? And now he's drinking the strong tea. Do you know why? Think about it, Pasha. It's like I told you, he used to be a security guard. It's probably just his old habits coming to fruition right now. And that's why he decided to drink the tea now. Just look, there he goes. He's drinking all that tea, man. He drank it. I think that he drank Whoa. it. And then he put it down. Dude, he right. really likes drinking that dirty water. Oh, that's disgusting. No, he's it? just no, raking no, everything. No, 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 don't no, no, go in there. No, 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 not in there. No. Not the generator, please. No, 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 yeah, the cameras are rough, you guys. Oh, no! You do realize that we can't track Huggy Wuggy with the hammer cameras right now, so we will have to go on a search for him with this one right here. Are you sure that it's safe for us to do this? I don't want... What other options do we have? Jeez, well, we gotta hook up the generator, at least. It's in the opposite corner of, like, the whole building. Yeah, I personally don't like the fact that Huggy Wuggy is just wandering around here for crying out loud. Okay. All right, there are flashlights here. Thank goodness, Bruno left them for us. Well, I should grab one. Whoa! Come on, let's go in quick. We should at least turn the generator on. We're still completely out of light here. All right, guys, be careful. We gotta be ready for anything. At least the emergency lights are working. That is really good. Pasha, come on, move. Guys, proceed down the corridor with extreme caution here. Keep Hug your heads on a swivel, you guys. You guys, just look. What is that right there? This paper. Did he drop this? I think it's a note from Huggy Wuggy. I'm coming for you now. Oh, me soon. You guys, there's really Huggy Wuggy wandering somewhere around this place. Look, dude, we gotta move on. We don't have much of a choice now. It's probably further down the hallway. And as for the back, ah! let's go. Come on, run. Run now. Let's move it. Run, 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 run. Put something up to hold it. Damn it! But now we're trapped, man! Look at that mug, dude! We've got to come up with something new! We should try to find some tools, like maybe a hammer. I don't know. Maybe there's something useful in here. Hey, every tool has some kind of instruction manual. You know, the one that says how to handle it. Maybe there's one for Haggy Waggy, and it says how to deal with him. That's right, guys. There's got to be something in the box. Savik, hold on. Just go slower, would ya? There really is some instruction here, man. Oh, you guys, here we are as always, and I am sure that you were doing the same. First, start using it, and then only then reading the manual, as everything is already That's broken. What everyone does. Warning here: if your toy is out of order, then all you need to do is just lure it back into the box here. To do this, use the remote control that comes with the toy in the package here. Or it's definitely out of order. What do we do now? Well, where's the remote control? What the remote control is talking about, you guys? Are you sure it's not here? No. There's 
there's nothing here. Maybe he took it with him somewhere so that we can't use it against him. Are you guys sure that you don't remember anything at all? Maybe Huggy Wuggy was hiding something. Come on, just in case we really missed something, just please write about it in the comments because we didn't see Huggy Wuggy's remote at all. Let's try to find this remote control for ourselves right now and to do so, we can probably spread out and then different directions and try to search as careful. Well, dude, guys, everything here is just messed up. There's balls lying here, right? There's no remote control. The remote control should be a small one, like a red thing. Okay, I'll leave my tactical shotgun from Fortnite right here to keep it out of my way. Hopefully, Huggy Buggy won't use this moment when I'm unarmed to attack me. Well, I don't see any remote here at all. Not even under this giant leather set. I don't see any clues. It's just foam underneath. There's nowhere to put it right. Maybe it's under there somewhere. Oh, hello! Any board under the table? This is where Huggy Wuggy used to be. Just look, there's the bear's head right here. Oh no! The one that he ripped off for guys. What a mess. And this is where the Huggy Wuggy dumped our blood safe for. Why did he put them in this coffin? I have no idea. It's very strange, you guys. It's absolutely strange. Blood surely deserves much better treatment. By the way, you guys, this here is a poppet costume, I think. We were hunting a giant poppet, so we made up our own costume to infiltrate the game right here. Oh, right here. And this is a remote control car, you guys. Okay, as long as it still has batteries. Uh, oh... I think that I have an idea. Hey, you guys! Guys, just look! I found a remote control car right here, and we can use this to distract the Huggy Wuggy because he really doesn't like the toys, right? So he's gonna do it to hunt and hunt us down right now. How are we gonna find the remote then? Let me pilot this car for now, and then we can distract the Huggy Wuggy, and you can go fix the lights for sure. Well, it's not a bad idea. With the light, I will definitely be able to find the remote. We can also put an action camera on it here, and then we'll be able to see where the Huggy Wuggy is. That way you can get away from him. Right, now just give me the GoPro camera over here. Whew, you guys, that's it. Oh, that's it. I got it. This GoPro camera will be watching everything. And if we see Huggy Wuggy, then here we go, okay? So if I'm rolling around and I see him, then I'm out of there. And you guys go find a way to turn the power back on for us. Right. Are you sure he's not in there? There's no way of knowing then. Uh-huh. Uh, hey, Huggy Wuggy. Uh, there. Just like that. Okay, Pasha, now it's our turn. Yeah, there's like no one in there. You guys, I checked up on the camera. There's, well, there's definitely no Huggy Wuggy nearby, so you can go ahead, and then I will try to locate where he actually is. Okay, I don't quite get it. You guys, just look. There he is, Huggy Wuggy. Holy crap, he's just banging in all of the doors right there. It's crazy. Okay, man, the car signal is getting weaker. I'm gonna try to get closer to him. Okay, just whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I think th I think that he saw me here. No, 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 man, no, come, come on, God, you guys. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get me. Ah, damn it, man. You guys, the remote control car was just grabbed by Huggy Wuggy. Hopefully, I was able to distract him long enough so the boys could turn on the lights for me. Oh. Hold on. I really doubt there is anything. It's true, there's nothing. It's just me. Oh my goodness. It's so dark in here, Pasha. There's a stick in here. Why don't we use it to lock the door? Uh, come on, right. Let's go. What if Huggy Wuggy changed the car straight into this room? Oh, that's how he's never gonna come in. Just as long as he doesn't leave any disgusting slime here. Or I don't know what he might have in his hands. They're all furry. There's probably bound to have lice in there. Yeah, let's better not talk about it or I'm gonna be sick. Okay, where's that generator? There it is. There's a generator. Now try to figure it out what the problem is and what exactly he did. Right, and I'll check what he's been drinking. That's the bucket, guys. Oh, ew. It's just some dumpy water with a lot of tea in it. How could he even drink it if it's barely breathing? I mean, well, the water is not hot at all, guys. Ew, that's disgusting. Obviously, he didn't like it, so he started wrecking the place. Sasha, hey, look, I think I fixed it. Okay, ah, there we go, yeah. Yeah, Pasha, the generator's working now. Wow, you did one hell of a job there fixing yeah. it all. Dude, we gotta go back now. We have to find that darn remote control. I think it won't be a problem at all with the lights. Let's go. Let's 
Pasha, open up, open up, it's us. Why don't you open up? Huh? Close it, Pasha. Okay, so you got the lights on, and now we have to go find the remote for this thing. Guys, why didn't we even bother turning on the lights if we can't find the remote? We can see her with the lights on all we want, but that Huggy Wuggy can come back and break the generator again. Look, it seems like uh, I just remember it's now a little bit. Me and Pasha saw him going in and out of the boiler room as if he was hiding something. Wait, 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 Okay, here we go. Well, what's inside? You guys. The remote control. That's the switch right here. All I have to do now is to make this Huggy Wuggy go back into the box for it was. Man, it's so cool. And it also glows, huh? Looks like the life signs of Huggy Wuggy. All right, are you guys now both of you ready to deal with this monster? Huh? Uh, now that I think that it's really off. I hope he got knocked out somewhere in there so he can sleep well now. Oh, I, oh. I can hear something. Clear footsteps, I think. You guys, just look. Here he comes. Here he comes right here. He's got a laptop with all of our videos on it. I'm sure of it. It's our stuff. Stop. Stop. But where? Where is he going? Oh, he's huge, man. What about our laptop? Is he going back into the box? Oh, uh, no. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come on, wait. Give us back the laptop. Just close it now. Pasha, come on! Yeah! yeah. Uh. Tape it out for good so he can't ever get out! Right, there! Maybe we can take the laptop out of his hands somehow! Guys, come on! Uh. Huggy Wuggy disappeared along with our laptop, you guys! If you would like a third episode with Huggy Wuggy, then let's get a hundred thousand likes on it! And in the meantime, just click right here and watch this finding Huggy Wuggy on the ghost road that we shot for you! Just click here, right? Just click here! Just watch it! And bye! Bye, everybody!